Okay, welcome back to For Pete's Sake Gaming. I am your host, Sardushin. Let's continue on from there. So from last time, we were in the Stormfoot Catacombs. We beat, we beat the boss of the Stormfoot Catacombs, which was the Erdtree Watchdog. Interesting fight. But now I think it's time for us to see how we can level up. That would be that would be the thing to do. So big ur tree, let's just start getting some crafting materials. We've got s some items to items to craft. So let's let's definitely go through things. And okay, so there's a guy there. So let's. let's I like the stealth ap aspect of it. The fact that. <clears throat> so, first of all, I would have to say is. If the game allows you to stealth, definitely stealth. Because most of these games don't have that capability. And the fact that this one does, do it. Doesn't hurt, you know, you're not going to be trampled to death on, on something. So let's, uh, so there's another guy here, so let's see what we have to do. Let's go around him in the back. So I, I definitely like that the sword is nice as a backup for this character. Definitely getting some nice... Definitely getting some nice things. Now if they do drop a torch, then we know for later, didn't need to buy the torch, but, whoa. Nice, a lump of flesh. So where are we going? Collect all items. Nice thing here, so let's go around it and see what, ooh. A rune fragment, that is always good. So we need to try to find a level up area. Ooh. I'm gonna use my... Yes, teardrop scarabs, they're both crimson cerulean teardrop scarab. Defeat them to replenish the flask that match their type, however you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Nice. It That was nice, that was sweet, something new. Something new in there. Okay, so now we come to an encampment. So with the encampments Oh, and looks like there's another guy here, so let's Okay, so some of these things because why not rune fragments we have no idea but maybe the rune fragments level things up who knows right oh I like that acquire the materials because that is always nice oh there's more of these rune fragments Okay, now that we've got more than one rune fragment, let's see what they actually do. Material used for crafting items. Okay, so these are our craftable things. What we need to try to find is what allows us to... There's our crafting kit. What allows us to summon? That's the first thing. Summon... 
Now we'll, we'll be trying to figure out, uh, hopefully soon, but it is a walk, it is not a walkthrough, it's a let's play right now, I'm just trying to experience it, trying to figure things out. So there's a guy there, there's a guy there, so let's sneak around guy number one. Let's, all I'm trying to do is just, we're at the Gravefront Ruins. Gravefront Ruins, okay, so far so good. Let's, let's figure out what we need to do. Ooh, this looks like a, a chest. We alerted that guy, but not too bad. So maybe he'll come our way, maybe he won't. Who knows? We'll figure that out soon enough. We want to get over there. He's looking one way, so let's try going. Okay, so there's. So now we know. Wolf. God. He's walking back and forth, so let's get rid of him first. Let's bring out our new den. You're dead. Get rid of dogs. Dogs are always bad news for us. Ooh, we got a piece of armor, and since from what I see, it definitely not as flashy as Demon Souls, but it's nice nonetheless. So, I definitely like like certain aspects, so let's try to get around this, see what's down here. So, they haven't... Oh, open. Definitely. Adding skills. With a whetstone knife you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. The skill at previously side will be removed. Okay. Ashes of War Storm Stop. So... And the whetstone knife. Always good to know. So we know there's a couple guys moving. So we're gonna try to sneak around this building quickly. Not to get. This one. He looks like to be a big guy, so. So let's see what we have here. So, go this way. Looks like a guy there. I don't want to be tracked to. Oh, the wolf. Whoops. So, a. Wolves can cause an alarm, it looks like in this game, so good to know, good to know. So right now let's sneak up on this guy that we're coming up to, because why not? So first things first, we can jump, can we go around, or are we going to be... No, it looks so far so good. Mushroom. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. The, oh, the jump button is definitely left to be desired. Um, when we had jump buttons before, it definitely has been a lot better.
so uh, that's leading nowhere. So let's see where are we at? We're in the Gravefront ruins. So let's just explore this for a while. Definitely, uh, definitely like hearing from you. Like, subscribe. Uh, definitely ring the notification bell. And let's see what else, where we else could go. Donate it will be always good. So we know a guy's right there. Let's go. If we can get around him, he will be good. He will. Uh, before we get that item, let's. Like the backstab, I have to admit I like the backstab. So now we're bringing up our Flintstone pebbles. Okay. Our safety net. Ooh, a brass shield. We'll take a look at that once we are ruined fragments. So we're getting all these ruined fragments. Which is nice, uh, but let's continue on, see where else we're going. Okay, there is a side of grace there, which is our bonfire. Oh, I have to be a little bit closer, it looks like. I want only one guy, that's why I pulled him out, and let's see what... And he's gone. Definitely like, like that. Uh, let's see what this has to say. Uh, nothing. What is Let's see there is a guy there so we're gonna try to oh okay Lauren's okay so for all your strength all your strength people that are playing strength let's go back here so grave front ruins northwest of it near this uh, bonfire the site of America there is a wagon wagon holds the longsword so you, you want to play strength that's what you want to you want to wield so let's see where else where we can go there's a guy there there's nothing over here so so far so good Definitely like in this game, it is a big change to their other ones, so I am definitely liking it, but we're going to try to get rid of some guys, so let's see how far he goes. Okay, he is the guy that we want to get rid of first. He had a horn, looked like he would be able to call someone, so we got we dispatched him right away and that's fine. There's an item over here it looks like. No, it just looks like one of those skulls. Okay, so let's duck down. He doesn't know where we're so far he's not um carbon. Hopefully we're not going to get ambushed. And he's dead. So we're just trying to... stick away from the herd. So far, so good. We see a big boy there. But... so far the... enemies haven't been too... Off. Um, common Dark Souls from soft enemies it looks like, so we're gonna get rid of 
torch torch guy. A couple of torch guys first. Oh, they don't alert anybody. But enemies, I don't I don't see that the enemies have been that difficult. The imps catch you by surprise, they're a little bit quick. But besides being quick, not a not a problem. I mean go in there, come back, get in, get out. That's basically what I I see. It's a Like, I haven't seen that they've done their attacks, so let's see what this item is. A flail. Okay, so let's see what, where what that flail is. So the flail is a quality weapon, so which causes blood loss as well, so... Let's see where the flail is. The flail is northeast of the gate front ruins. So, so far, not too bad. Not too bad. So, this guy here looks like he's going to have a ton of health. And if he doesn't, he doesn't, right? So, but we're gonna hopefully Come around him, get a quick backstab on him, and before he die, decides decides to. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's get a nice backstab. Okay. He's gonna. Nice backstab in there, heal up, we know that. I wish I had a flask, but a nice magic flask, but it's all good. We'll get there soon enough. Backstab seems pretty easy. When in doubt, we know he's going to chase us. He will, as soon as we get out of his line of sight, usually with these games, are he will reset and he will be fine. So we just need to... He has... Looks like he has reset. But usually with these games, he is... Okay, I just need to see what he's doing. I need him to back up and not look towards me. So you can see his shields towards me. He's looking right at me because he knows I will attack him. But he reset. Which now, if I can get so what we're going to do is wait for him to come back to us walk past us and get a nice backstab oh pick up an item let's see map fragment so map fragment right at the gate fronts by the big boy here at this area so basically right almost dead center and now we have the map fragment opened up which means now we can go any place we want so let's let's do our stealth and hopefully we can come around him get another backstab hopefully he doesn't
That's what I'm hoping. Let's see how far he walks. To the beginning of beginning of the broken wagon there. To the end of the broken tiles. So, so if we can get another nice backstab. And there we got it. The guy wasn't too tough. Man, he did hit hard, but we already knew that he would hit hard. Smoldering butterfly. Was this the flail? Yes, this was the flail. So, so far so good. We're not going to go that way yet. Uh, our sight of Grape, Grace Path is leading us into this castle. But what we're going to do is get to the sight of Grace, rest, see what happens. Maybe there is a... Get these materials first and see what happens. Touch Grace before I rest at it. See if there's any materials there. There's no materials. We already know. Main story goes this from the path. So let's rest at the side of Grace and see what happens. And it's a cutscene. So excellent, excellent, excellent. I definitely enjoy cutscenes. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. For you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. So definitely we're going to accept she wants to be our maiden, our fire keeper, our holding our hand. Then it's settled. So Someone definitely we're going to... To turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle, we know that we have a steed, so I'm, we're hoping that we'll give our, get our horses, so that's nice. To traverse great distances, it will summon a Spectral Steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Okay, definitely now is the time. Let's level up. 
Oh, uh, so level I up. Turn your runes to strength. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Okay, so with the level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for your next attribute increase. So basically, what we're going to be doing this besides getting here. So we got the map fragment, got the great sword, we got the the flail, we killed the basic enemies, we got the spectral steed, we can level up, we can we also got another ashens of war with the with the dagger that allows us to change what our weapons are so each rune need to level up 757 so definitely more health is always good we'll bring that to 10 bring the intelligence so what does that's health that's fp okay stamina strength dexterity intelligence so we haven't found a dex weapon that we want to use yet um, for right now we can leave it at 12 it's all good but if you're gonna go for strength um, definitely pick a class that has a higher strength um, modifier which is the number right beside it um, so we're gonna level up our vigor, we're gonna, which is our health, we're gonna level up our intelligence, which is how hard we can, how hard we can hit. Um, it also, it seems it levels up defensive attacks as well, like fire. We're gonna level up your mind, cause being able to do more spells. Uh, so I can do one more. Bring that up to. 17, 10, 17, 17 for my character, not too bad. Definitely like that, so. Confirm. Spend the runes. Let's, let's see what else we can do. Flasks. Uh, increase amount replenished by flask. Allocate flasks. Right? So let's. Add charge to flask. Let's see what that does. Use one golden seed to increase your number of flask uses. Let's see if we have a golden seed. The worst thing says you have no golden seeds. Not enough golden seeds. Increase the amount of replenished by flask. Use a sacred tier to increase the amount of HP, FP replenished by your flasks. Right now, um, no, we don't want the net. Okay, flask charges. This menu can allocate the number of uses in each of your flasks. So we have three health potions and one flask. So in total, if we use all our health, go to all health, it's four. And we have nothing for our magic. But since we're at magic, one is the time being. Uh, there's probably going to be something to uh, bring how many health potions we have. So once we find that, we'll will start increasing the account a lot better. So we're going to leave it just like it is. It's fine. And let's see the Ashes of War. You can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. An armament can have one skill. Any skill it is previously had will be lost by adding an affinity. You can alter it. So let's see what we have. We can not going to put a skill on the staff because we have magic because we already have magic doesn't matter um it the shield has a parry skill so we need to figure that that has a kick so let's see what we have we have storm stomp it actually reduces our physical attack from our sword so right now, this is our backup weapon, and yeah. Now, so let's see, we can't use that, and can't use that. So right now, there's nothing good. So, 102 plus 10. So, when calculate how much your physical damage, that's your maximum damage. So you're going to take, you're going to, if at maximum amount, you're going to do 102, 
and plus 10 extra damage. So in total, 112. So let's see. To use this, we need 16 strength. But as I said, that's a great sword. So of course, you need 9 strength and 14 dex for this, which is 101. But it's only minus because we don't have the requirements. So that could be an interesting interesting definitely weapon to use as a backup our flail is apparently more dex than strength but you need some some dex it does cause blood loss bleed up the only one that doesn't is the great sword so let's see what other items we have we have swords and shields so there's our torch when we're in dark areas Definitely, we can't use the Brass Shield as of yet, but it's a strength one, but I wouldn't mind to comparatively, we're going to, we're going to equip the Large Leather Shield, it does have a parry, it requires minimal strength, which is nice, it does... Holds a lot more uh, damage for physical, which is nice. A lot more for magic, a lot more for fire, a lot more for lightning, and a lot, a little bit for holy. And it's a guard boost as well, so which we need to try. So let's equip that right now. Okay, and horseback riding. So what we're going to do now is. Equip our spectral seed. Uh, equip that, and at this point, we're at a nice, nice bonfire. So let's uh, definitely call it. So definitely like, subscribe. Uh, and definitely uh, ring the notification bell and uh, definitely uh, check out the patreon and definitely donate it does help us uh, help us uh, make the uh, channel a lot better plus um, the donations do go to cancer as well so uh, that is always good so definitely have a good day and see you on the next part